Hello everyone, share life and share technology. Today I would like to share with you a good news with you. Previously, many friends reported that the Google GMS framework app G-Space on Huawei mobile phones was removed from the Huawei App Store and could not be installed. However, today I found that uh, this uh, G-Space app is in the Huawei App Store again. This is really good news. And the better news is that uh, its version has also been upgraded to solve some of the bugs and the problems encountered before. If you have encountered problems before when using it, then it may have been fixed in this new version. And this new version also supports the creation of shortcuts directly on the desktop of your mobile phone, which means that you can run directly on the mobile phone desktop, such as YouTube, Google Photos, it's very easy and convenient. So you don't need to open GSpace to run YouTube or other Google apps in, in GSpace. Okay, so let's go to my mobile phone and show you how to upgrade and install GSpace and create shortcuts to quickly open and use YouTube and other applications. Okay, now let's go. Okay, now welcome to my mobile phone desktop. So firstly, let's have a look at the Huawei's app gallery app store to look find uh, the uh, GSpace updated version here. Uh, click uh, the Huawei's uh, application store. Then uh, Firstly, you need to change your location to, uh, you know, let's go to the setting, settings, and you need to change the country like United Kingdom or Germany or other country. If uh, then you can find G space in the gallery. If you select China, China, then you cannot find the G space. So this is the important information I want to share with you. You need to select the country with like United Kingdom, uh, USA or other country. I select in the United Kingdom, then I can find uh, the G space. Okay, so then you can search the G space from uh, G S P A C E. Then okay, then click search. Then you will find the G space, or then you will find the G space here in the Huawei's app gallery. Okay, now let's click G space. Okay, then let's have a look. This is a updated version. Let's have a look about what was changed in this new version. Here, you can see the updates, which means uh, they provide a new feature to create shortcuts for applications on the main screen. So you can create shortcuts like YouTube shortcuts on the main screen then you can run the YouTube directly from the main screen of your desktop of your mobile phone then fix some new known bugs so some bugs will be uh, already fixed so if you have any trouble when using the GSpace previous version then you can uh, update to this new version okay then this uh, blah 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 some uh, introduction of this uh, version then you can click here if you are the old vo version then you here you can click the uh, uh, the update Belong down below here because I will already updated to the to this new version. So here you can see this button changed into uh, open. Okay, so you need to click this button to update this new new version. After you finished that, then you click G space. Then you can see the YouTube, WhatsApp, and TikTok, Google Map, Gmail, Google Play Games, Messenger, Facebook, and Google Drive, Google Photo, Google and Meet, Classroom, all the related Google uh, applications already here. But you can you cannot see, you, you will find there's no Google, uh, Google App Store. But uh, it's no problem. I can give you the solution of uh, the, how to replace the Google, um, Google App Store with the uh, APK Pure. Yes, so if you want to uh, install other applications which need uh, Google's GMS support, then you need to use the APK Pure to uh, download and install the related application with the third-party uh, apps app store or, or which means APK Pure. Then after you finished the installation of the application, then you can click you can click the G space and click the plus button here plus button. Then you can select select. The, uh, to import to, to select the uh, like this one this one to clone here to clone this uh, application into I mean into this G space into this G space then you can run it in your G space which need a Google framework Google uh, Google GMS services support to using that application 
Okay, then I click YouTube. You can see, uh, let's have a look. The YouTube could be, uh, can be opened. Yeah, it's very easy way, right? It can be opened easily, the YouTube. Okay, then uh, I will show you how to create eight uh, shortcuts. Here, just click and pull, pull click that uh, button and uh, keep on. Then there will be a short create shortcut here. I click create a shortcut. Uh, the shortcut has been created. Let's have a look. Oh, which means you need to give the authority to give this uh, G space authority to create the shortcut. Okay, let's uh, give this uh, G space the authority of uh, creating a shortcut. Here you can see home screen shortcut. You need to give this uh, authority of uh, allow, allow home screen shortcut. Okay, then we go back to the desktop and click G space and click YouTube and click create shortcut. Okay, let's have a look. You can see the YouTube already on the desktop. Then it's very easy for you to uh, load the YouTube. Click this YouTube, right? It's very easy to run it. Okay, so you can also uh, uh, log in to your uh, account, like sign in. Click sign in, then you can add an account. It's very easy and straightforward. And uh, then it will communicate with the Google server. Then you can key in your uh, Google's uh, account. I mean the Gmail account here to key in your Gmail account. Okay, then click next. Then key in your uh, Google account password. Click next. Okay, then you click I agree. Then you click back up to Google Drive. Close and click accept. Yeah, it's very easy, right? Then uh, you you can see your uh, account already loaded into the YouTube. Then you can synchronize your synchronize your favorite your uh, subscription of the videos and your histories, looking uh, your videos of uh, histories, all kind of things. It's very easy and and straightforward. Okay, so it's very easy. So. Uh, if you have any questions, just leave your comments down below. I see every comment. And if you feel this video is helpful, just a thumb up and subscribe to the channel to avoid missing future updates. See you next time. Bye-bye.